Hey guys, it's uh, Jim here, and I'm doing a little bit of game hunting in Akihabara today. So, let me see past this dude. Uh, I'm just got in on in the station, and uh, I'm gonna hit up a few different gaming stores, maybe even some anime stores and stuff like that to see if I can't pick up just some cool, uh, you know, other kinds of merchandise. I'm hoping I can pick up a decent new system today. Thinking, thinking something along the lines of PC Engine. So, um, anyway, this is the very unglamorous station. And uh, as soon as I reach the surface world, uh, I'll be right back. So, stick around. Hey guys, I thought this was pretty cool. I was just wandering around and I came across this little showroom where they're showing off some pretty cool figures. It's all uh, Bandai stuff, it looks like. Little Gundams, little chicks. I really should have turned the brightness down. Big old Gundams. Little Gundams. Common Rider. And I really like these Ronin Warriors. It's pretty awesome. That was just a little bonus. Alright, be back in a bit. Okay, I thought that was all they were showing off, but apparently not. They have these like huge suits of armor in here, other figures and stuff. Like I said, this is just bonus. I wasn't expecting to see anything like this uh, here today. That's fucking awesome. Okay, really cool. Anyway. Finally here. Finally out and about in a, from the electric town exit, and I'm gonna go hunting down some stores. Obviously, there's Super Potato, but there's more than just that. Um, there's at least a couple other retro gaming stores around, so I'm gonna hit up those. Maybe hit up some hobby shops or something. Maybe even try to uh, get some pretty gals on film. Um, I don't know. It's Sunday, so there's always something going on, going on on Sunday. And television crews are here inter interviewing white people, apparently. So, whatever. As soon as I uh, find a place I want to stop off at, um, I'll get back to filming. All right. See you in a bit. All right. Hey, guys. Here we go. This is another retro store that I like to frequent a lot so let's go inside if they don't stop me from filming I'll be happy got a decent super famicom set up here got, got Aladdin for 2200 That's pretty steep for a lad. <gasps> War of the Gems for 33 God, that's a lot. Anyway, I'm going to keep exploring this store. Like Mega Drive, more super loose carts, 64. Let's look at the systems they got. They have a Duo R here for 1250. I'm gonna see if have to see if it comes with everything. But that Duo R comes fully stocked with uh, hookups and controllers and such. I might actually get that. Uh oh, Dreamcast. 
Everybody knows I love me some Dreamcast. Anyway, then again, there's always Mega Drive. Give me a nice copy of Sonic. Or Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, or Spinball. What should I get? I guess we'll find out eventually. I'm gonna stop filming now so I can get my haul together. So I'll be right back and you'll find out what I got. Alright guys, I'm going with the PC Engine Duo R bundle with all the necessary hookups and I'm getting myself a second controller. And I'm gonna get out of here, head over to Super Potato and buy some games. Alright, see you guys there. Okay, finally found the object of my pursuits. The PC Engine section at Super Potato. So I am going to be kind of rummaging through these games. See what I want. Because I don't really know. Maybe I'll get this. Whatever the hell this is. So, eh, who knows. Anyway, this is an impressive collection of few cards and uh, Super CD-ROM stuff. So, fortunately I'm not the most educated person on the PC Engine and what's good or for it or not, but um, I'm sure I'll figure it out. So, I'll let you guys know in a bit what I came up with. So, alright. Okay, Bye. so I've just finished my shopping in Super Potato. Okay. And I'm going to wait till I get home mm -hmm. to, because uh, I got a bunch of other crap and even got a special delivery from a YouTube friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to wait till I get home. Before I unveil everything I purchased today, but for right now I'm gonna hit up the KFC, and unfortunately I'm not gonna be hitting up any other stores today, really, because um, I just dropped a whole lot of cash. So but anyway, I will clue you guys into everything I got when I get home, I guess. So uh, stick around. Hey there, everybody. All right, Jim here. I uh, just got back from my uh, most recent outing out to uh, Akihabara. I went to Asakusa first. I wanted to film with the Bandai building, but uh, it's Sunday and they were closed, so I didn't get to do that. So I'm gonna go through the pickups, everything I, I got. Um, the first thing, though, I'm gonna show you is something I got for the Dreamcast. Um, a friend of mine on YouTube and on Skype and such, uh, Sean. Uh, he has his YouTube channel, it's the Sainted Magnus Show. He was, uh, we kind of did sort of a, a trade type thing. Um, but he was kind enough to make this purchase for me. And it's a copy of Jet Set Radio for the Dreamcast. This is the Japanese version. And um, this is probably, it, it's at least one of my favorite Dreamcast games. If you've never played Jet Set Radio, it's an amazing game. So it's Jet Grind Radio um, back in the States. So if you ever get a chance, play this game. Uh, he purchased it for me. It came uh, brand new, factory sealed. It didn't stay that way for long because I was just really excited to be able to play this game again. But there it is. Jet Set Radio for the Dreamcast. Sean, thank you very much, sir. It was nice doing business. All right, today, the Dreamcast game I got, the only Dreamcast game I picked up today, a copy of Capcom vs. SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. So this is the um, Pro version. Basically it's got Joe and Dan in it. And I guess maybe a couple other features. But um, yeah, so there it is. Capcom vs. SNK on the Dreamcast. The one Saturn game I got today. Got a complete copy of uh, Sonic R. Which is a... Um, it's fun. It, it, it controls like crap, but for one reason or another, it's fun, you know. It's a Sonic game, so there it is. Sonic R for the Saturn. For the Famicom, I got a boxed and complete Ninja Ryu Kingdom 3, a.k.a. Ninja Gaiden 3, which I'm told is actually easier than the, um, the U.S. version. In the U.S. version, you don't have infinite continues. They did that to make it harder. But in the Japanese version, you actually have infinite continues, so it's not as difficult. So, Ninja Ryu Kingdom 3. This, um, pretty sweet, a complete and boxed copy of Star Fox. 
so awesome. And the box is in really, really great shape. I've already opened it up and you know looked at everything inside. The cartridge, manual, everything is beautiful in this uh, star box. Now, the centerpiece for what I, I got today is uh, right here. I've never owned or even played one of these before. But it's a um, PC Engine Duo R. It plays Hue cards and the PC Engine CD-ROM games. So it came complete. It's got uh, one controller, it's got the AV cables, and it's got the AC adapter. And um, yes, I'm very proud to be able to say now that I too am a PC Engine. So, get my brand new PC Engine Duo R. Got a spare controller for it too. Because this one looks a little, it's pretty damn yellow, so I got a, a nicer one. Alright, now, games. I got Hue cards and I got uh, CD-ROM games today. So, first Hue card game I got is one that you have to get, basically, if you own this system. At least that's my impression. It's a PC kit, or um, a Bonks Adventure, as it's known in the States. And I've never played this game before. I've only seen footage of it, and it looks great. It's by Hudson Soft. And I don't think I've ever played anything by Hudson Soft that I haven't liked. So I'm going to be playing some Bonks Adventure later. This one here, also a huge card. It's called War of the Dead. And, um, yeah, I, there's no graphics on the back. I just saw War of the Dead. It was reasonably priced. I figured, why the hell not? This one is hard enough for me to pronounce. It looks like it's Fungu Momo, something something to that effect. I have no idea what the hell this game is, but it was cheap, and just from the cover, it looks like something I might enjoy. And it's by Namco, so... Hey, why not? Alright, for the CD-ROM stuff I got today, I got this one here. This is a uh, Devil Hunter Yoko, which I've played a Devil Hunter Yoko game before. I think it was a Super Famicom game. Um, but, uh, so I'm not really knowing what to expect with this game, but it's Devil Hunter Yoko. Same thing like the other one I played, it'll be kind of like a side scrolling beat em up. This one I got just based purely on the fact that it's based on a series of uh, anime that uh, I like a lot. Um, I didn't know they had ever made a game for it on any platform, but this is uh, Cyber City 808. And um, the anime is really awesome. I don't know what the hell the game is going to entail. The screenshots on the back are all screenshots from the anime, so I don't really know what this game is going to be. But I really like the anime. It was like five bucks, so I figured, why not? Another game I basically picked up just on cover art and title alone. This game is called Genocide. It has a huge back on the cover. The background, all the back, all the back of the case says is Genocide. So I'm hoping basically it's going to be a big ass robot running around killing everything in sight. So, Genocide for the PC Engine CD. And the last game I got today is a, uh, it's a side-scrolling shooter. I'd seen footage of this. Uh, someone has been doing some gameplay bits of this on, on YouTube, but it's called uh, Hellfire S. And like I said, it is a shmup. And I do like shmups. And, um... Pretty cool. Typical, uh, looks like you know, pretty typical PC Engine CD game. Um, gameplay is very arcadey with the you know, usual anime cutscenes and all So here it is Hellfire S for the PC Engine CD. That'll conclude my pickups for today. I got my little bit of Dreamcast, Famicom, Super Famicom, PC Engine. Nice system. Pretty diverse uh, group of pickups. So anyway. That's it for the pickups. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed having a little look around Akiba. Um, also, a little announcement. I'm approaching 500 subs, so I'm planning to do some kind of giveaway um, in the near future. I don't exactly know what the rules are going to be. I haven't really decided. Probably something you know fairly simple. That way everybody you know, has a chance. Um, but I have pretty much already decided that I want to give away a Famicom with a copy of Mario Brothers 3. So just stick around for you know, some manner of contest coming up. 
And uh, with that being said, this is Jim. This is my haul for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, everybody take care and keep game.